Welcome back. So this time around, uh, it was time to get a new platform going for a new plug. So the guys put this um, platform together here, welded up the steel and put the plywood on there and threw some foam on there and you'll see that in a minute. And meanwhile, uh, we had Zach uh, finishing off some sanding on these little blocks for where the door latches are going to be on these outside door frames. So those ones are getting pretty close to being able to ready um, to get wax so we can pull a mold off them. And here's the uh, door frames that are going to create the inserts for laying up the roof. And so this was Thursday, um, putting down the black top coat there. And we did both of them on Thursday and, and got them completed to having the, the light uh, carbon fiber on there. And there's a mark there just carefully looking for, uh, for brush hairs that come off the brushes when we're actually laying that down. So didn't really have any problems with those and there's still a little bit more work to do, but you'll see that next time. And so here is the plug that we're gonna, or what we're creating next. And so this is for the glare shield for um, the aircraft. And it's the part is mainly just that top part there. Right now it's sort of just working on the, on the flange there. And uh, you'll see when that's finished in a second, um, the actual angle, it's looking kind of steep there right now. And that's just the way that I positioned it on the mill. And here we are with the door ones done. And this is a Friday morning already. And so taking the peel ply off so we can put the, the um, extra layers of heavy carbon on those. Um, didn't have any problems with those. Again, they're going to be a little bit tricky because they're creating inserts and not actually creating just standalone molds. Um, so we do have some more work to do on those, but you'll see that uh, next week. So here's the glare shield, just the last little pieces being finished off there with the ball mill. Um, didn't really have any real problems with doing that. A little bit uh, tricky around the corners there, but uh, this is a fairly straightforward uh, plug to create. So um, it should be done fairly quickly and hoping to get the glare shield actually laid up, the part laid up before Oshkosh so we can sort of add that to everything else that we have. So here's the platform um, actually tilted on the angle that the glare shield will be. So there you can kind of see it's that glare shield's not going to be high in your in your way when you're um, when you're sitting in your in your seat there, you know, unlike, you know, when you're sitting in a Cessna 182 or a DA40 or something like that, if you're short, you can't even see over the glare shield unless you're sitting on a phone book. Um, but, you know, the way I designed the Raptor was you're going to have excellent visibility um, out of there, even if you're only five foot tall, you'll be able to adjust the seat so you can see clearly over the glare shield. And that's kind of the view right there. And this is a Friday afternoon. The guy's finishing up the second one of these uh, door frames. And it was hot in the shop. It, I mean, our thermostat was pegged at 90, so it was 95 or something like that. But we had the two fans going, and that keeps it um, you know, reasonable for working in there. And so Jeff uh, started laying down uh, just a thin layer of fiberglass over this uh, glare shield plug. And, you know, the plan was to get it sprayed and get it back on the machine because the ball mill pass takes a long time to run and I wanted to let it run over Friday night. So here it is um, with a couple of coats of, of the spray core putty on there already. And I think we only ended up having to put uh, three coats on there to get the thickness that we needed. And there's one of those door frame inserts all finished and the peel ply all put on there. So it's good to get those done. And like I said, uh, we'll have more work going on those um, next week. And meanwhile, in between, just been doing a little bit more finish work on those edges there for this routing mask for the roof. So when that roof um, part pops out, we will be ready to trim it right away. And here is the mold for uh, the lower part of the air intake. And that's all been cleaned up and waxed. And so that's ready to lay up. And that one doesn't have any core or anything like that. So it should just be a fairly quick layup, even though it's quite sort of complicated. So here we are with the plug for the glare shield and it's back on the machine and doing this, um, this uh, what's called a vertical finishing pass. 
and so it's basically running at, with a step over there of uh, 0.03 of an inch, so 30 thousandths, and you're using the three quarter inch ball mill, and you can see there the worry uh, when it starts out here because it's so steep on that side there is that the chuck is going to hit the actual uh, plug itself and cause it to either chatter or come loose or something like that. But fortunately the angle was just enough so it, it didn't hit it when it was sort of going down there. And you can kind of see there, watch it as it comes down there, how close that gets. Um, but it just, just fortunately doesn't hit it. Uh, anyway, so this pass is just going to be back and forth um, and, you know, all over the, the course of the night. And so it would run through till probably about 2 a.m. or something before it was finished. Uh, because of how tight the step over is but you know the advantage of using a tight step over like that is once it comes uh, off the mill uh, it requires very very little sanding um, to take the, those last little ridges out and then you can kind of see the finish is fairly smooth already and so it started on the one side there back to the other side and then eventually it would just be going back and forth across the whole part of the work and so again on this side um, it, I think it barely touched because uh, there was a little bit of extra putty on there um, but I was monitoring it and didn't really have a problem. Anyway, we'll see how that turns out next time. So thanks again for watching.